Have you noticed, Madeline? I window back the windows earlier, but it ran out of battery before I did this one. But look at it. Mm. It's done itself. Should we go for a walk? After you've eaten something. After I've eaten. I'm sick. Yeah. Have you also noticed how we weren't woken up by builders this morning? Mm. It's just been quiet painting outside. Lovely. Yesterday's leftovers. Yum, yum, yum. I love these glass containers because you can just eat the food straight out of them. Maddie demanded two pieces of cake. It sort of fell apart. This will make me better, right? If you don't want to eat the whole thing. Fell up my mouth. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I went to the toilet, cleaned my teeth, came out the bathroom, and then went in to speak to Alex. And I said, Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. And it went, Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. <laughs> I was like, Where's my voice gone? I had no voice this morning, did I? No. And it was for about an hour and had no voice. And then I start to clear my throat a bit and I had a ginger and lemon tea and then it kind of is a bit better now, but... Yeah, I'm sure that cake will make you feel better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was saying, if you don't want the whole thing, I'm happy to finish it off. Yeah? It's a good cake. It's it a from cake. Angel Bakery in Brighton. They do vegan cakes, so... God bless the person who invented spring rolls. Mm-hmm. I think it's trying to tell us something. What new message should we put up? Maddie's gone to have a nap. Night, night. She's feeling ill. Can I get you anything? You got water? Uh, I think I want to go on a walk then. We were going to go out together, but Maddie's been feeling a bit rough. So I'll see you out there. Just dropped the camera. Back here on my favorite park bench. Probably looking like a weirdo to anyone who walks past, but never mind. It's a shame, it was a really nice day earlier and it's gone all cloudy and miserable again. But it is nice and warm, I'll say that much. And it's been nice and quiet in the house because the builders are nearly done. They're barely building at all, they're just painting. It's been one of those weekends where you're relaxing and having a lot of fun, but it's also very tiring. That's always the case when it's someone's birthday. Yeah, you're, you're going out and you're having lots of great food, but you're also traveling around, driving around, walking around. Uh, I don't know, I spent like, <laughs> Most of Sunday morning, like preparing, wrapping presents, uh, going to the shops to get some sort of breakfast food and stuff like that. Blah, 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 blah. Having said that though, yesterday evening was very fun because we did just uh, turn the sofa into a bed and just watched uh, loads of films. We watched Beauty and the Beast, you saw that. Then we watched Up. No, we watched Up later. We watched another one called Lady Bird, which is like a bit of an indie movie. Yeah, we mentioned that in the last video as well. Lady Bird, that was good, different. Yeah, it was one of those teenage coming of age movies. It was quite fun. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. I don't know if anybody's noticed, but I've had this sort of uh, cracking, dry lips in the corner of my mouth. I seem to get that like two or three times a year. It just gets really dry and horrible. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but I googled it and apparently it's uh, a lack of vitamin B can do that. I always thought vitamin B was mainly from stuff like mushrooms and green veg, so I must be one of the few vegans in the world who has a sodding vitamin B deficiency. I'm not eating enough green vegetables somehow. So I'll be focusing on eating as much green veg as possible over the next few days. Yay! So I guess when the Joker was telling Batman that he got his scars by his dad cutting him to make a smiley face or him cutting his own mouth to please his girlfriend, it was actually just because he didn't eat enough green veg. And that's why he was storming Batman's party in the Dark Knight, because he knew there was going to be loads of free food there. So I've got to work hard on that. I know Maddie's having cravings of broccoli, which I can't quite get my head around. So I think later I'll go and get some broccoli. I've started, I'm started. i enjoying going to Tesco later in the day recently. I just hate it when it's really busy and everyone's in your way and the till takes like 10 minutes to get through checkout. I went the other day to try and find some cheap bread, it all sold out, but I did get some cheap flowers, like I said. So I don't know how they do it in, you know, like the USA and elsewhere, but if you're in the UK and you want some flowers, just go to the supermarket like six, seven, eight o'clock, like when they're reducing all the stuff, there's a high chance there's going to be loads of stuff like bread and flowers. Take my word for it, it's the best time to go and you can usually get all sorts, especially if you're not vegan. The amount of stuff you can stock up on, like sandwiches and ready meals and things, if that's the kind of food you like, 
you save a lot of money. Oh, some money just fell out of my pocket. I'm gonna go later, because I've had we ate so much bread over the weekend, I've had a craving for bread now. We had this little three-tiered thing of oil that we took from my parents' house when we cleaned it out, because they had about five or six things of uh, olive oil. So we took that, and we've been using that, but we haven't made much of a scratch in it, and I've got a real hankering for bread and oil. Anyway, best get back. Lots to do, lots to do. Sun setting is getting dark. I'll have a go at recording as I walk, but I bet when I come to edit it, it's going to be really windy. Like, you can't even hear the wind now in my ears, but I know the microphone picks up everything. I really need to get some of those micro muff things that you can stick. I think that's like the brand name. You stick them on top of the microphone and it just uh, cancels out the background noise, especially wind noise. And I was hesitant to get one because I thought it would cover most of the screen that I'm looking at. Um, when I film, but that's a small price to pay because I was editing I've just been editing the video from yesterday where we went up to the Devil's Dyke for Maddie's birthday And we we're filming outside and it was just you could barely hear us because of the wind And you don't really think of that when you're filming because you can't hear it that much But the camera picks it up and those clips were basically unusable So I think I'll be looking into that this week. Maddie told me she was having a nap before and then I went in and she's just been scrolling through Instagram so I wonder if she will still be on it when I go back in. So she was asleep and she needed that nap. Been quite a few late nights recently. I wonder if this light is better than when I have the big light on when it comes to editing. Let's try it out, shall we? Well, it's definitely much brighter. But I get the feeling it makes my face look very red. Maybe that's just me. I do have a red face and I do have very red lips, which certainly does look weird on camera when I put uh, an adjustment layer on or when it's cold. So here's the flowers I got yesterday for 70p. So you wouldn't think those were dying and going out of date, would you? They look fresh. That's if you even buy flowers at all. You may have houseplants. Houseplants are probably much cheaper in the long run. We've got a few. Where are they? Got some more flowers up there. We've got, yeah, we've got some house plants up there too. I like the succulents and the cactuses because they just look after themselves. Right, I'm cooking tonight. Here we have the largest broccoli you've ever seen, and we've got the tofu in here. Look at that. Nice and pressed. I'm going to fry that in here for a while. like our steamer. It's looking good. Oh, ow, hot. What about like this? Ow. Woo. All right, I think the plate's a bit too big. Not the best at arranging it to look nice, but here we are. Here we are. On a plate. On a plate. You normally have it on a, in a bowl, what's all this? I don't know. That's a blank space for your imagination. Yeah, we do have it in a bowl, don't we? I don't really know what I was thinking. Exactly. Maddie's learning all about Bitcoin and stuff. Cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency. Not Bitcoin. Maddie's just learning Bitcoin. all about cryptocurrency. Not just Bitcoin. Bitcoin is in there. Has anyone invested in any cryptocurrency? And if you have, what have you learned about it? Tell me. Tell me your success or your... Tell her. Tell me your success stories or your failures or anyone who's into it. Talk about it to me. This food is excellent if you don't have much time. We make it a lot, don't we? Just rice, tofu, broccoli. Well, it's the same principle as, um, you know, your non-vegan style of meal, yeah, brown rice, chicken and broccoli or something. Yeah, I suppose that's, if you read those like uh, bodybuilding guides, yeah. it's always like brown rice, chicken, broccoli, isn't but it? But it's like, it's like your standard meal is <clears> like um, some protein, some carbs, carbs and some vegetables. Some veg. And mm. yeah. I was saying earlier, I needed green veg for my dry lips. Yeah. But yeah, in the past, I would have thought this sounds like the most awful meal ever. 
but you pop some soy Which sauce or teriyaki and sriracha on it and it's actually delicious. And this is coming from me who used to despise broccoli. No. So, no. Oh no, it's fine. For my birthday, my mum got me, I'm very aware that I've been in this jumper since yesterday, but I'm ill. My mum got me some actual tea leaves, you know, like loose tea, that's, what was, that's the word I was looking for. And I've got a little um, tea cup thingy. So she got me so many tea bags because she ordered it online, not tea bags. She got me like six bags of uh, decaf Earl Grey loose leaf tea because she said it was cheaper to buy it in bulk. So I'm all stocked up on Earl Grey for like forever. And I have a one person teacup with like the loose leaf tea diffuser thing. But I think I might order one, another one as well that does like a few cups so I can just have it sitting there on my desk and just like top it up because I do, I just love drinking tea. It just make, calms me down, makes me feel really good. I don't know why I need to justify why I like tea because there are millions of people in England who also love tea and around the world. I think we all understand why tea is good. So yeah, I sound so ill. I need to stop talking and rest my voice. I look like I have no neck. Looking forward to doing some slightly more exciting things in the coming week. Maybe something a bit more interesting than me describing my day to you all. Now, if you're watching last week, you'll remember I was talking about having three things. I, I like to try and have three things to look forward to um, at any given period. And I was saying that Apart from Maddie's birthday, there weren't that many things coming up on my birthday, but after Maddie's birthday, there wasn't going to be much going on. But some things have fallen into my lap this weekend. I've still got my birthday, end of February, and I've also got Maddie's cousin's wedding, which is in, I think, three weekends' time, which I'd completely forgotten about. So would Maddie. We didn't realise it was so soon. I remember being invited to it. We met Maddie's cousin. Well, I met Maddie's cousin for the first time a couple of years ago. We met them and they said, beginning of 2018, they're getting married. And we're like, oh, that's ages away. And now it's here. But weirdly enough, he lives a 10 minute drive from my parents' house and they're getting married in the grounds of the hotel that me and my family first went to when we moved from Oxford to Surrey. We were living in that hotel for a while until my parents bought a house. And that is like a five minute drive from, I think, both my parents' house and Maddie's cousin's house. Such a weird coincidence, but I'm looking forward to that. And then the weekend before that, the start of February, we are seeing our friend Sophie again. I can't even remember when we last saw her. Maybe start of December? Nobody told me this. Maddie didn't tell me this. But here we are. I'm looking forward to that. So that's three things. But now I'm very aware that, apart from next weekend, every weekend is going to be busy again. <laughs> It's good and it's bad. It's good to see friends and it's good to get out, but also sometimes you just want the weekend to do nothing, you know? It's long past my bedtime. Long past Maddie's bedtime. We have at least been productive this evening. I've been editing and working on a video. Maddie has been watching loads of videos to give her ideas for new cooking videos. She's been doing a lot of them lately, as well as she's been watching loads of stuff about cryptocurrency and that kind of thing, Bitcoin, those types of currency. So. Good for her, because then she can tell me all about it. Because <laughs> I am interested in that kind of thing, but I, I have no idea where to start. But yes, if anybody is involved in that, let us know down in the comments, because that would be quite interesting to hear about other people who've invested in that sort of thing. Hope you all had a good weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow.